Hello everyone, welcome back to the Syntax UK YouTube channel. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be taking you through the speakers in Dynaudio's core range. This is Dynaudio's flagship range of active studio monitors designed for recording, broadcast, film and post-production studios, as well as home studio users who just want the best sound quality possible from their setup. Building on the legacy of the legendary Air series, the Core series is the next evolution and spiritual Air, no pun intended, to Dynaudio's top of the range reference monitors, providing the neutral, resolving and non-fatiguing sound that has made Dynaudio studio monitors a household name in studios around the globe. So let's get into the speakers in Dynaudio's Core range. The Core series consists of four different monitors in varying sizes, as well as two subwoofers. Now across the range you get the same full connectivity and advanced DSP functionality no matter which speakers you choose. Starting out with the smallest is the new Core 5, a two-way monitor designed for smaller studios, edit suites and broadcast trucks, as well as for use as satellite speakers in surround and immersive setups. Next up is the Core 7, another two-way monitor designed for small to medium rooms that require more power than the Core 5s provide. All of the Core models are housed in heavy-duty cabinets, letting you know immediately that these are serious speakers for use in professional production day in, day out. Then we have the first of two three-way speakers, the Core 47. This speaker is ideal for medium to larger spaces and has proven extremely popular with producers and engineers who love the added focus that a dedicated mid-range driver can bring. Particularly useful when mixing vocals or voiceovers, as well as for placing instruments in the stereo field. The Core 47 features a 7-inch woofer as well as two specific models for the left and right speaker, with the mid-range and tweeter placed on the outside of each monitor. And then we have the Core 59, the flagship model and largest in the Core series. This three-way features a rotating tweeter and mid-range driver section, which Dynaudio calls the orbit baffle, and that allows for either vertical or horizontal placement. The Core 59 offers the extended dynamic range and low frequency response that you would expect from a professional mid-range monitor, all thanks to its 9-inch woofer. Alongside the four speakers, we also have the choice of two Core subwoofers. We'll start with the larger of the two, the Core Sub. It is an absolute beast with its four 9-inch MSP Plus drivers, and one kilowatt of Class D amplification via its two 500 watt amps. Weighing in at 48 kilograms, the Core Sub is designed for the largest studio spaces and immersive systems, reproducing down to the lowest frequencies for super deep bass. With a flat response down to 15 hertz and a 6.5 dB roll off at 13.5 hertz, the Core Sub can go incredibly low offering full range extension of any of Dynaudio's Core Series monitors. Finally, if the Core Sub is just a little bit too big, then not to worry because we also have the Core Sub Compact. Weighing in at 26 kilograms, the Core Sub Compact features two of Dynaudio's MSP Plus drivers, as opposed to the four found in the Core Sub, and these are powered by two 280 watt amplifiers. Essentially half a Core Sub, the Core Sub Compact's equally impressive low end makes it a fantastic option for a classy 2.1 monitoring setup when paired with a pair of Core 5s or Core 7s, or for when multiple subs are required for smaller immersive audio mix rooms, giving you a smooth and even bass response even down to the lowest frequencies. Despite varying in size and power, all of the core models feature advanced DSP for adjusting the sound. As you'd expect from a flagship range, all of the core series sound fantastic out of the box. But this is monitoring we're talking about after all, and it's not necessarily what you might want from a studio monitor. You want to be able to hear the imperfections in your work. Each speaker can therefore be adjusted to fit the room using a set of switches on the rear panel of each speaker. These help with optimizing each monitor for its position as well as its mounting in a room. First up is the left and right switch, which you'll need if you've chosen to connect your speakers digitally via AES. 
Next we have the position switch which allows you to choose between anechoic, desk or soffit mounted. Choose anechoic if you're using speaker stands, desk if you're going to place your speakers on the desk or on a meter bridge and soffit if you plan to mount your speakers in the wall. Note that Dynaudio also produce a number of mounting brackets and these are compatible with standard K&M accessories for a range of mounting options. Next up is the base extension switch which applies a time aligned high pass filter in the low end. This is meant to be activated when working with the Dynaudio Core Sub or Core Sub Compact. And then we have the sound balance filter in response to whether your room is bright, neutral or dark. And this can help with tuning the sound in more reflective or dead sounding rooms. The second position switch offers three settings, free, wall and corner. Again, these give you a slightly different sound depending on the proximity of your speakers to the walls. Choose free for speakers that are placed further than 50 centimeters away from a wall, wall for speakers that are placed closer than 50 centimeters to the wall and corner for speakers that are within 50 centimeters of a corner. Finally, the analog sensitivity and SPL level switches can be used to match the input levels to the output of your audio interface, monitor controller or mixing console, as well as allowing you to adjust the maximum output level for optimizing the gain staging of each monitor. Once your monitors are correctly installed and the settings have been adjusted to your acoustic environment, you can be confident that your studio monitors will now translate seamlessly to other systems. The Core Series drivers are crafted in Dynaudio's state-of-the-art facility in Denmark and rigorously tested at their highly impressive Jupiter testing facility alongside their coveted soft dome tweeters. Renowned for their in-house driver manufacture, the Core Series uses Dynaudio's tried and tested MSP drivers, a material Dynaudio say they've perfected over the last 40 years and has found to have just the right combination of damping and stiffness. Complementing the drivers and tweeters are the Class D amplifiers courtesy of Danish manufacturer Pascal. Pascal are renowned for their high quality amplifiers which are found throughout the world of professional audio and live sound. The back panel features both analog and digital inputs, giving you the choice of running your sound via a pure analog path or via digital input for taking advantage of those powerful DSP options. As expected, the analog connections feature XLR inputs, along with XLR inputs and outputs for the AES digital connectivity, which allows you to daisy chain multiple speakers if you go the digital route. There's also a word clock BNC connection, which provides the option to sync the speakers via a dedicated word clock signal. And finally, the USB connection is there for servicing and future firmware updates. That's it for our introduction to the core series from Dynaudio. Whether you're working in a music studio, broadcast or post-production, or even if you are just an avid audio enthusiast, Dynaudio's core range is tailor-made to ensure that every nuance of your music and sound design is heard with exceptional clarity in a balanced and neutral way. And if you want to deep dive into the low end, the Core Sub and Core Sub Compact are the perfect companions to your Core Series monitors, enhancing your listening experience and adding depth to your mixes so that you can feel the rumble of every baseline, whether you're creating in stereo or branching out into the worlds of immersive audio and Dolby Atmos. Thanks very much guys and I will see you again next time.